It's the moment Leroy King has spent the last decade trying to prevent his extradition to the United States. Now it is days away. Confirmation comes from Attorney General the Honorable Senator Benjamin in an exclusive interview with ABS News. What I received was an advanced copy. In that order, the application on behalf of Mr. Leroy King was not upheld. It was dismissed. That ruling takes effect from November 6. So now that we have exhausted all the appeals to the title, the Supreme Court of the land, the Privy Council, has ruled that the government is left with no other option but to comply with the order of the Privy Council. Already, the mobilization is in train to have him handed over to U.S. prosecutors. The U.S. Embassy in Barbados has been in contact with me, and the government will carry out the effect of the order that was granted by the court, with the by the court on the 6th of November. In other words, the order signed by the Prime Minister, Baldwin Spencer, many years ago, will take effect as and from the 6th of November this year. King is a former head of the Financial Services Regulatory Commission. U.S. authorities have alleged he was involved in Alan Stanford's multi-billion dollar Ponzi scheme. He's facing 11 wire and mail fraud charges and has fought extradition in the High Court and the Court of Appeal and finally the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council. Garfield Burford, ABS News.